I am still here in beautiful Manila. I moved away from the old town, probably about 10 minutes, 20 minutes down the road. And I am here in the business district of Manila. This place is called Makati. And I am of course joined by the legend, Danny. Let's go. Let's take a little bit of a tour. Some nice modern cars as well. Look at this man. Beautiful little uh, triangle area over here. And the nice thing that you see over here is, of course, you have the ultra modern buildings over here, but right next to it, you can still see some construction going on. So even though this area is super, super developed, it's still good to know that it's still developing at the same time. So we were just walking and talking and I could genuinely say this is probably one of the easiest cities I can move into. Again, it's got that nice mixture of the old and the new and it feels like a real city. I mean, look at this. With BGC, as nice as that place was, for me, it felt like it lacked a little bit of uh, that real Manila vibe, that real Filipino vibe. I mean, if you go to BGC and you don't have a dog, I feel like you pretty much don't belong. What are your first impressions of Makati, Dan? Yeah, I guess it's like third or fourth impressions, but I mean, I was just saying that I feel like now, finally, I really understand the city. And I think Manila was one of the cities for me where it was the hardest to kind of understand the structure of it and like the old town is on top and especially everything is very very spread out there's like not one central area so before i think i've came to manila i think twice in total this is the third visit i believe and i had no idea where is what you kind of just get dropped off a little bit but uh, yeah i mean makati i would say is probably the most livable place even though i would say it's not as nice as bgc as ali said but it just feels kind of like big and nicer areas not as nice like a real city we just arrived there we go ayala triangle gardens oh my god these gardens are nice look at this it's pretty much like a i guess an oasis we're right in the middle of the uh, concrete jungle the big buildings the construction works feels nice and peaceful over here and of course if you are coming here at night i believe they have light shows so uh yeah if you come here come and relax maybe come with your spouse with your girlfriend uh, but yeah, unfortunately for me, I am just here with that. <laughs> and this corner of the triangles as well, as you can see, they are developing it, expanding it, making it look even nicer. Hello, boss. How are you? You okay? Yes, I'm good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Working hard? Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys building over here? The landscaping. Oh, skate like park? No. Oh, like this one here? All right, let's have a look. Oh, nice. There you go. There's a lot of work going on in here, huh? Ah, what? <laughs> are you vlogger? Yes, we are vlogging right now. Wow, uh, let me give. I'll give wow, you a card right now. No. There you go. I subscribe to Let's go with Ali and my friend is uh, Danny. I got well Danny. to see. Yes. Okay, yes, boss. Okay. Yes, Enjoy the city day, yeah. Take care. And here we go. We just reached the main part of the gardens. As you can see, we are greeted by the beautiful Make It Happen Makati. We have some beautiful art installation. Some nice trees over here. We have people just kind of sitting there relaxing unfortunately for whatever reason we are not allowed to film here so uh yeah we just had to do like a quick little tour and there you go we have a beautiful bridge over here i believe this area at night is uh, all lit up you have a light show going on and as you can see we have uh, a water feature area over there it feels nice and cool the air is kind of blowing on top of it keeps it nice and fresh and one thing which I like to see here is the cats are really really looked after so the ones that we saw back in BGC were a bit rough I have to be honest with you but these ones look nice and healthy the contrast here is really really nice again we have super modern buildings nice clean roads and we have the old jeepneys you can't really go that far here in Manila without seeing jeepneys literally everywhere of course they are the main transport of Manila So one thing that you will notice here very very quickly it is a nightmare to cross the street as you can see it's literally blocked off every single corner but the only way to go there is to go through the underpass so let's go ahead and do that one thing i have to give them credit for though is these underpasses are really really nice there you go you got some beautiful looking art over here they have some sort of bird they have some flowers over here bees it's really, really nice and clean as well to be honest uh, I've been to a few of these underpasses, uh, some uh, in the USA, some in the UK. They're not as well maintained, so this one is really nice and spacious. And we've been walking down for a little bit down Makati Avenue slash De La Rosa. And as you can see, this area really, really opened up all of a sudden. Thank you, thank you. And uh, there we go. We have a footbridge over there. 
that way you don't need an underpass and just over here actually we have the Ayala Museum looks like a really big impressive building we're not going to be heading in obviously today we are here to see the real streets of Makati rather than the museum and just behind me as you can see we have the footbridge over there got nice interesting artwork here again that's something which I really like in about Makati so far is the underground passes have really really good art and even these streets here have really nice art as you can see we have some vibrant uh, birds over there we have some sort of plants we have a gazelle over there and now I think we're gonna do a little quick stop over here we reach mom and Tina's bakery cap so we're gonna come here get a little bit of coffee maybe a little bit of cake I feel like uh, my sweet tooth is kicking in today so let's see what we can find oh wow nice looking shop over here as you can see we have all types of desserts hello what do we have we have a sugar-free margarine tub we have a mini chocolate chip over here wow oh my god <laughs> this place is dangerous if you are hungry we have some uh, banana chocolate chip muffins we have blueberry muffins double chocolate chip oh my god this all looks so so good we have a carrot cake wow look at this looks like some sort of uh, cloud nine Ooh. what do you reckon that good place to come to me good place to grow man <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see what are we gonna go for hello how are you? Uh, what is the recommended uh, cupcakes over here? Where's the best ones? The red velvet. The Sorry. red velvet ones? Yeah. Okay, these are looking pretty good. Chocolate fudge. Chocolate fudge. Oh my god, there's so many good choices over here, man. Coconut cupcakes look wild. And which one? Sorry? Mokabat. Mokabat. Okay. Is it possible I can go for one red velvet and also one uh, banana chocolate muffin chip? Pretty cool, uh, We'll have it in here. Here. Yes, please. And uh, a cappuccino as well, please. Your best cappuccino. Cappuccino, one red velvet, and the wine. Uh, banana muffin. Yes, please. That'd be amazing. Ooh, here we go. There's the. This is the banana one? Yeah. And this is the red velvet. Oh my god, look at them. Ooh. Ali's going crazy. Is that the secret <laughs> to the guns? <laughs> Unfortunately, not. <laughs> and as you can see, guys, we opted to sit outside. We're out amongst the nature amongst the traffic i feel like it's the best way to get a real feel of the town obviously we could have sat down inside in a nice aircon but i feel like this is the better way to do it that way you get to really experience the full sights you get to see the people do a little bit of uh, people watching some cars bro you gotta do like in a proper french cafe you have to uh, smoke your cigarette <laughs> look like all like <laughs> People will go to France just to get like photos like that, you know? I'm talking about you. The person know who I'm talking about. <laughs> and actually, as Dan was saying, I feel like this is as close as to a French cafe as you could get. As you can see, I've only seen them in movies, so I'm glad to be here. Oh my God, look at this. There we go, we have a beautiful cappuccino. And I think this is cinnamon. Yeah. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, that is definitely cinnamon. Thank you. Salamat po. Let's go ahead and start with the cappuccino. Wow, I just burnt myself. I like the nice little froth on the top. Tasty cinnamon. Unfortunately though, not the strongest of coffees. A little bit watery, but that's fine. As long as we have a little bit of caffeine, we'll carry on exploring the rest of Makati. But for me, you can probably tell I'm already mumbling and I'm already struggling to hold on a sentence since I am looking at this beautiful looking muffin. And as you say, sharing is caring. So of course, I'm going to be sharing these muffins with Dan. There you go. Look at this beautiful looking cupcake. Oh, nice and warm. Nice little uh, chocolate chips on it. And inside, have a little bit of uh, banana. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Wow, it's actually pretty nice. Mm. They definitely redeemed themselves after that coffee. This thing is really, really nice. As you can see, it's got so many chocolate chips everywhere. Mm. Nice and sweet, nice little pick me up. And of course, as always, if you're trying to cupcake anywhere and they are offering a velvet cake cupcake, 
You have to go for it, man. Oh my god, this thing is so dense. It's got so much cream on top of it. Oh, look at that. How beautiful does this look? And look at how thick this cream is on top of it. Uh, I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. As you know, guys, it is very, very hard to vlog with one hand and eat at the same time. Let's give that a try as well. Oh my god that cream is so nice the cupcake itself is a little bit bland but the cream really really makes it that is delicious man mm. or as they would say in kfc my favorite place in the world it is finger looking good delicious and there you go guys a couple of minutes later those cupcakes got completely demolished and we just got the bill it is about uh 435 so it's about eight bucks something like that pretty decent uh definitely cheaper than it would have been i guess in starbucks there you go boss thank, thank you sir. and we just walked for a little bit more as you can see we have another foot bath over there as you can see again as i was saying to you earlier even though we are literally in the middle of the concrete jungle you can't get away from the plants and the greenery so i feel like they did a really really good job of incorporating nature into the city and of course as with any modern place in manila or anywhere around the world if you see a starbucks that's how you know you're in an up and coming town and just over here we have another coffee chain over here but something that i realized is obviously we are in the business district so a lot of people are here i guess drinking coffee but this area is really really nice so we just reached an area called the Gatsby Active Park and as you can see people are just kind of relaxing, chilling a definite sense of calm over here as you can see the traffic is not that hectic as it was back in the old town of Manila and you can definitely feel it over here man there you go, we have people just relaxing playing some uh, air tennis? or what is this called? badminton, badminton, that's the one Oh, and as I was telling you earlier uh, I didn't see that many dogs until now let's see wow there's a lot of dogs over here people are just here i guess after work bringing in their dogs beautiful looking dogs let's go let's head in there uh, let's see if you can pet some dogs <laughs> i feel like that is one way to improve your day huh just some animal interaction whether if it's a cat whether if it's a dog for me obviously i don't have any pets it's a lot of responsibility but uh yeah i genuinely love animals man look at these beautiful dogs oh my god <laughs> so nice and playful <laughs> hello <laughs> look at that look at this one's got its tongue sticking out hello hello <laughs> it's so cute hello <laughs> oh my god are these all your dogs yeah oh my god they're so cute thank you how old are they they're three two and one three two and one oh my god Hello, so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this kitty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this one's licking the camera, huh? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Look at that. That is a happy dog. When you see a wagon tail, that's you know that's a very, very happy animal. Hello. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Amazing man. They whoa, I just realized. My camera and the lens is literally just full nice. of dog dribble. Look at all that. I see it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean that quickly, guys, with my t shirt. Hello. Why are you so cute? Hello. <laughs> That's probably the smallest dog I've seen in a long, long while, man. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so cute. So, in terms of first impressions, generally, uh, if you took me and you place me in downtown Dubai, downtown Washington or downtown Chicago for me this feels exactly the same I mean even just the way that the roads are marked the way that the junctions are laid out honestly this really really feels to me like any of those countries and uh, yeah just even the way that the park is laid out I guess the type of uh, tropical plants they have as well I really really like it man but just to hone in my point even more this area is called Washington Sea of Park. There you go. We are literally a Washington downtown.
So we've been walking around for a little bit more and I just saw this place called durian. So I don't think I've ever tried durian in my life. I've heard it uh, kind of tastes like onion, maybe tastes like a banana. So let's see if we can find durian. Hello. Do you sell durian? Yeah. yeah? You sell? No. Oh. Oh, so it's just a name? No, we have durian, but now it's... Oh, not in season. I see. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we can find over here. All types of... Uh, I guess this is a Chinese convenience store. There you go. You've got some sort of... Uh, Fully cooked shrimp, interesting. I've never seen a shrimp being packaged in that way. But I literally have all types of snacks over here. We have, uh, what's this? I literally can't eat any of this. I think it's all in Mandarin. We have some sort of uh, French toasty over here. Wow, very, very... Oh, here we go. Freeze dried durian. Interesting. We're gonna have to go in for one of them. That way we get to taste what durian tastes like. I'm hoping it's not going to taste like an onion. I heard you can only get two types of durian. Either one that tastes like an onion or one that tastes like a banana. Yeah, interesting uh, interesting little convenience store. Oh, I guess this one is just uh, some cleaning products. Some, uh, don't even know what these are. Some sort of juices. Let's see. Is there anything? Oh my God, look at these. Huge, huge strawberries. We have some melon. We have some beans over here. Not many exotic looking drinks, but let's see. What can we get over here? This one looks cool. I have no idea what's inside it. But uh, if you know anything about me, you know I am super curious whenever it comes to food. So I'm gonna go ahead and try those out. Hopefully they are good. Found some durian. <laughs> uh, I found some durian. Yes. <laughs> That's as close as I'm gonna get. <laughs> Almost two weeks now. No more. Oh, it's not in season now. Yeah. I see. When when is the season for durian? Huh? When is the season for durian? I think from August to I mean July or until March. Ah, I see. So yeah. we just missed it. All right, that just gives me another reason to come and visit here again. Yeah, that's amazing. There you go. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. Believe me, I can't wait to taste these. So literally going for it as soon as we can. All right, this uh, thing is childproof. So I am struggling to open it right now. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. First test, obviously, is the sniff test. Doesn't smell that bad. I was told that durian could smell really, really bad, but this one, as you can see, is individually packed. Hopefully not because each one of them stinks. Ooh. Ooh. That smells like an onion. <laughs> yeah, you smell that. That definitely smells like an onion. Oh my god. That is probably one of the weirdest textures I've ever tasted. It's like a, a little bit powdery, a little bit sweet, and a little bit oniony. Yeah, that's weird, but somehow it's still moorish. Like, I feel like eating the rest of it somehow. But yeah, definitely weird, man. I don't know if you classify this as a sweet, uh, I mean, if you put this in a vegetable uh, in a vegetable salad, I think you couldn't go wrong since it would taste like an onion. But if you're there just to eat something that's uh, sweet for a snack, personally, I don't recommend it. But anyway, let's go ahead and try this cool looking uh, juice, of course, with the Korean love heart. Looks pretty interesting. Interesting packaging. Ah, it smells nice. It's actually delicious. Some sort of uh, orange taste, uh, some mixture of, I guess, clementines, a little bit of lime. Wow, this is delicious. I don't know if it's actually delicious or if it's delicious because it's washing away all of that onion juice taste. For me, I'd have this again, 
this one I would not have it again <laughs> the closest way I could describe this unfortunately is if uh, if you ever had a bin bag that was sitting there for quite a long time and it develops uh, how do you call it a juice underneath the bin bag <laughs> to me that's what this tastes and smell like so uh, we're gonna put that away hopefully uh, someone will come and find it or maybe I'll try to give it away but this juice is basically gonna have to be used as a mouthwash for now now this is actually nice well Dan is the next victim I've always refused trying durian wherever I went always everybody's crazy about trying durian I'm like there you go as I was telling you guys it is child proof so we are both mm. struggling to open it not bad are you not getting the onion taste a little bit it's weird it's like a it's very a, creamy yeah sweet onion creamy powdery it's a lot to take in in one go I think I've tried durian ice cream before it tastes a little bit like that bro it's not bad at all <laughs> there you go I was struggling to give that one away luckily my man is gonna have the rest of it not the rest just one more <laughs> maybe two more <laughs> it is Moorish right is more what is Moorish? Moorish means like you just want to have more and more of it. Bro, you need to try one more. D does it get better with age? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and now we reach this other part of the area. It is called the Green Belt Malls. There's probably about four or five of them all connected together. And what I really like about it is it's like a, an outside area and an inside area all connected together through this little uh, Greeny Park and as you can see as I was saying to you earlier it is ultra modern and just over here we have the usual Western shops so we have Shake Shack, Benaria Republic and of course Zara genuinely already very very impressed with this mall having been inside it but you can just tell like it's a sense of opulence over here again ultra ultra modern and very very nicely done like uh, this to me is much much nicer than the malls that we've been to uh, back in BGC. The BGC malls were nice, the Mall of Asia was nice, but to me this is the type of malls that I like. It's done very very nicely and uh, yeah you get like a an ultra premium feel just with the brands but also just the, the down lighting and uh, yeah just even the way that the decor is done. Now we are on the second floor of the Green Belt Mall and just over here we have another area where people are eating and what I really like about this area again is we are literally right in the middle of nature even though we are surrounded by malls they still left a lot of space for a little bit of uh, greenery and a little bit of nature oh we have koi fish over here oh, almost that's like some wow that's not even a, what is that some sort of uh I don't know if you guys can see that let me put my torch on Is that fish? Oh, he's gone. There he is. He's back. I hope he doesn't jump out of the water and go in for my camera. But if you can see, I have some more koi fish over there. That's awesome, man. And as I was saying to you earlier, this mall is full of premium, ultra premium shops. We have Balenciagas, we have Carolina Hermana there. And uh, earlier we saw Fendi, Gucci, Valentino. Literally anything you can think of. Unfortunately, it's slightly outside of my budget, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you are the type of uh, shopaholic and you're looking to spend your money very, very quickly, I reckon this is a good place for you to come. And as you can see, the sun has gone down, but believe me, I am happy about that. There you go. Look at that beautiful skyline there in the background. And look at this beautiful hotel behind us as well. This is the Peninsula Hotel. I believe this hotel was built all the way back in the 1970s so it's about 40 50 years old and even though it's not that old as you can see from the ultra modern surroundings of us this is probably one of the oldest buildings here in Makati and just look at the way that they designed it we got a uh, nice jets everywhere beautiful down lighting as well really really accentuates the design so nice man obviously for me this is outside of my budget so I'm just gonna be standing here and just enjoying the view 
But look at these beautiful ultra ultra modern buildings of Makati and of course they are distinguished by the banking buildings literally everywhere man I think I could easily genuinely move here and I'll be very very happy I mean as you saw from the video there are malls over here there are cafe shops there are a bunch of ultra premium shops as well you can do your shopping your food shopping your clothing shopping so literally if you're used to a more I guess a Western style of living you could definitely do that here easily but all right guys I think it is now time to wrap up this video it's been a really really fun day today here exploring the city of Makati getting a really good feel of it you saw we went into the parks we went into the malls we got some food as well and we got a real real feel of what it's like to live in this city again to me this is a nice balance between the ultra modern BGC and the ultra old old Manila this is a nice balance between the two and uh, yeah I'll be definitely visiting here again but anyway guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here if you are enjoying the content that I am making here in Manila and also in the Philippines please do subscribe and follow and comment down below where you want me to visit next I'll also be putting Dan's channel down in the description Please stand up to him, show him some love, and I will see you guys in the next video. Salamat po.